Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending April 3rd. First up, this was sent to me by Smyrna Cowboy. This is a man named Colin Furs in the UK. I'll put up a picture. He decided to put a flamethrower on back of his scooter. Really super cool looking, however, for some reason the authorities consider it a weapon, so um, they arrested him and charged him with, uh, let's see, what was the suspicion of possessing an object converted into a firearm. I think in the United States, well he was actually in this case he was released um, without posting bail so I'm hoping the charges won't be that serious. I imagine in the United States probably you would be uh, charged with some kind of uh, fire violation or something like that, open flame or something like that, probably pay a $500 fine and just be asked to stop doing it so um, hopefully you won't get any serious charges but it is really super cool looking um, secondly this one someone decided to take a whole bunch of those uh, freebies they pass out in restaurants the plastic forks knives and spoons and the plastic cups and uh, somehow put them all together I looking at it close it looks like it's not even glued together it looks like it's just um, friction holding it together they took plastic cups spoons forks and knives and made it into a cool looking dragon this was on a website called boredom.net b-o-r-d-o-m.net and I'll post up links to all of this stuff for you third this is a set of photographs I'm just going to show one because it's only a series of five photographs and I'd like you to go to the website to see this a photographer named Caleb Charland from Maine just using an ordinary camera and setting up everyday objects in unusual ways made some really cool photographs the first one that caught my eye was basically the first one on the page here at the top which I'll show you right now it's a magnet with a bunch of nails um, top part of them sticking on the magnet and the bottom part of them just kinda hanging in air from the magnetic force and then if you scroll down there'll be a bunch of other pictures too that it's just uh, more or less the unusual way they were set up using a lot of ordinary objects they're just kinda cool pictures I'd also like to feature this week a new vlogger this is a vlogger from Sweden, a biker vlogger, 70 Para, and I'll post a link to his channel. His first ride is on a mild Harley Chopper, Evolution Chopper, on a dirt road, or actually mud road more than you know, more than dirt road is actually on a mud road. So um, I would like you guys to check him out, welcome him to the community. Um, like to see more and more international vloggers join our community. 70 para and I believe his real name is para too so it's 70 plus P-E-R-R-A and last up uh, this is a ride in an Audi R8 a brand new Audi R8 5.2 it's a V10 um, automobile and my buddy 54 Shadow that's also a member of the crew of the Dumpster Divers has been helping me out in the show since the very beginning of the show he personally knows Tom Strongman he's a automobile columnist that writes a column for the Kansas City Star and various other Midwest papers it's a syndicated automotive column and he was given one of the brand new Audi R8's it's 500 plus horsepower I think the total something like 525 horsepower well he pulled up in front of where Bob works and gave him a nice test ride in this Audi R8 so I'm gonna give you a link to the video of this so go and check this out it's really nice when I can get um, stuff like this coming from the crew especially for somebody they personally know like this so check out that test ride and finally I would like to tell everybody that this will most likely be the last TDD report of the season because the writing season has started I want to get out spend some time writing so there may this summer be some special reports here and there as I get time and some material comes in it's possible and what I will do like last year is just pretty much close it down for the writing season for the most part and then probably sometime around September or sometime late fall as the writing season comes to a conclusion but I'd like to thank all of my viewers and subscribers for sticking with the TDD report and uh, hopefully next season this fall we'll pick it up from where we did before thanks a lot everybody uh, be safe out there, ride safe, and I will catch you in September sometime with the TDD report. I'll still be, by the way, I still will be doing my regular stuff. I'm not quitting my channel or anything like that, but yeah, for the TDD report, 
taking a break for the writing season. Take care.